Hello and welcome to this episode of Tracker Magic. In this episode we're going to look at how to find and exclude any projects that may have caused an error while scanning. So the first way in which we can find any projects that might have a scan error is by using the Tracker web and looking at the scan status and this will tell us any projects that were previously scanned successfully that may now be causing a problem. Otherwise we can use uh, information captured in the log file to find any um, errors we've encountered while scanning and this makes an easy way of uh, sorting out the different uh, errors here between portrayal and non-portrayal errors. And then finally we can exclude these projects from our uh, configuration by either copying and pasting them manually into the exclude rules or we can use the uh, exclude projects with the uh, errors to um, automatically um, choose the projects which are to be ignored. Let's uh, take a look at how these different things work in the tracker. So the first thing to show is that in the projects menu here I can change the view to scan status and then I get some uh, information on any projects that may now are no longer scanning uh, successfully. So I can see here I have these two projects which are now causing a scan error and if I move to the right here I can see that it's the typical error of could not open the project because I'm probably um, scanning with an older version of Portrayal than these projects are, are saved in. So this can be used to identify any uh, potential uh, projects which might be uh, causing an error. If we've encountered any other errors while we're scanning, we can also find that information in the log file. So we can do that by coming to the tracker admin and then log manager. And if I select my latest scan here, you'll see I get a summary of the um, scan uh, listed below. And you can see that I have some errors captured in the, uh, in the log. Here you can uh, open up the uh, log file itself but it may be a bit cumbersome to scroll through to find these uh, errors. So what you can do in the log manager is double click on this red bar here. And then if you sort by projects, you should get all the errors uh, detailed at the top. So I can see that I have um, two non-portrayal scan errors and four other errors. And here we can see that the non-portrayal scan errors happens twice and this is because the project, um, as you can see here, two occurrences of no portrayal project folder for this particular project and uh, the second project. The other uh, errors, as I mentioned, these are um, could not open the project. This is because they're saved with a newer version of portrayal. So now I want to look at how I can exclude these projects from subsequent scans uh, so I don't waste, waste time on them. So the first way to do this is you can, of course, just copy the name uh, of a project here, or the path rather, and then take this to the configuration and scan folders and exclude projects. And here I can simply paste in that project and it will be excluded from subsequent scans. In addition, the log manager also makes an easy way of uh, doing this if you have many projects. If you highlight the uh, configuration and click exclude projects with errors, you then receive a pop-up here where you can choose uh, some of the projects which you may think be causing errors when you scan and then just click exclude in config. And then if we go back to the configuration and exclude projects, you'll see all of those projects uh, listed there. So the log file manager just gives you a uh, easy way of excluding any um, portrayal projects with errors that might be causing you to waste some time when running your scans. That was everything I wanted to show today, so thanks for listening.